Now let's go ahead to the treatment on the jawline. But as you can see from this, we just did a Voluma lift up here and that improved this jawline already. But now we're gonna sharpen it even more with a solid filler lifting PDO thread here. So let me just mark it out for you. Here's her jawline here. We're gonna go about a centimeter above and really just kind of aim for this area so that we pull all this just back, just like that. That's exactly what we're gonna do. And let's take a look. It's just gonna go so right around there. It may not even be that full length, but that's what we're going to go ahead and accomplish here. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is give her a little bit of lidocaine. So a little bit of welt of lidocaine using a Comfortox syringe here. Just going to give her about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 of lidocaine, 2% and just gonna let that get numb. It does not take long to get numb uh, at all here. So we'll just let that sit. Um, but we're gonna start back here and we're gonna, you know what, let me take the thread and show you about what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start back here and we're gonna introduce it here and then we're going to go along this line here and really be able to grab and engage this tissue and pull this back and redrape it with here. So this gives you a pretty good idea of what we're going to do. And you know, these are 90 millimeter uh, threads, 90, 100 millimeter threads, depending on what you're using. You don't have to use the whole thread uh, necessarily for this. So I may not, you, you may probably won't go to the hub on this, but just to give you an idea of what this looks like, because there's plenty of lifting thread in there that will engage this tissue at any time here. So I'm gonna turn you just a little bit other way, just like that. And let's just check with that cameraman, are we good? Okay, little pilot hole. This is an 18 gauge hole. You're gonna go in a fairly sharp angle, five to 10 degrees, gonna go right underneath the skin, and we're just gonna leave it there, and again, the purpose of this is mostly to go ahead and put you in the right plane uh, as you go ahead and introduce that. I'm just going to create a little bit more of a tunnel right in here. And again, we are in the subdermal layer. That's where we want to be. But right underneath the dermis, that is the best layer to be in there. Just going to hold that in, twirl that just to make sure we have that. Let me have a gauze just in case. We're going to take that out and you can see that bleed just a little bit. Go ahead. Now we're gonna insert this right in here and Ashley's gonna dab that for me. There you go. And we're gonna kind of fall right into that plane right there. And I'm gonna twirl that just a little bit. And you can see, we've, we've still got that pledget there. This lifting thread has not been engaged. Really important here is to go ahead and um, you only go forward. You do not move back on these things once you get underneath the skin here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hold this with my left hand. I'm gonna use my right hand to, my left hand really is not moving, but it's going to go ahead and really engage this. And it's like pushing a curtain over a curtain rod. And it goes fairly simple. How you doing there, Connie, good? Okay, excellent. And you can see it's always important to know where the tip of your needle is and it's right in here. And I can bend this hub if I need to. I can bend the hub a little bit to move things around or bend it up and that'll point it down, bend it down, point it up, uh, but make sure. But I'm in the right plane here with no problem here. And again, I'm not pushing with my left hand. I am more doing this. And now right now, the tip of my needle or the, the tip of the thread is all the way over here. I'm just gonna go a little bit further to engage a little bit more tissue there, as you can see. So now if I bend this down, you can see this pop up right here. So I'm at the end of my mark about where I want to be. And now I'm going to go ahead and really push back on this. I'm going to really hold this up and I want you to take a look if the cameraman can go ahead uh, and take a look right at the right at the as I exit here, I'm gonna really hold this up and pull that straight out. And then we're gonna need you to go ahead and, and hold this and go ahead and um, just dab that a little bit. And you can see, and that is looking really, really good. And you can see, I've got a long lifting thread in here and you can see what it's doing down here. And right here is where I've got, you can even see some of the lifting threads and the barbs that are right here. And that is all just fine. I'm gonna hold this up and hold this towards me, push down on the skin as I clip off that, and then the rest of that is going to go right underneath the skin there. 
So that looks really good. What's great about these uh, lifting threads, let me just have a gauze here too. What's great about these lifting threads is they are multi-directional. And what that means is that when I smooth this, I can smooth this both ways and it will engage tissue here. But now you can see, look at this nice tight jawline. Remember that jowl, that little jowl that she had uh, to start? Well, it's gone. Between this here and this here, um, this is all gone. Um, and that is, is some great treatment that's done in really a little bit of time. It even goes faster when you don't have to talk and teach. We're gonna go ahead and put a Band-Aid on there afterwards so you can see. But now let's put her back towards the front and look straight at the camera here. And we're going to see a few things that have happened here. First of all, jawline, nice and crisp here. Now, again, a little bit of swelling, redness that they'll have uh, after treatment uh, for that. So that looks really good. Look how nice and full this cheek now looks and the transition here uh, compared to the other cheek. Now, again, this is right after treatment. So obviously a little bit of swelling right here, no bruising to speak of um, as we see. I just wanna do one more thing, just, yeah, that's good. Go forward. Now, do you remember this? Remember how much flatter this side was than this side? This is nice and round, this is nice and round, and now they are much more symmetrical here. Um, we'll let her heal up, but she's done just great.